good morning students hope you all safe at home so in last video we had seen exercise 5.1 today we will solve exercise 5.2 so introduction part so first thing we going to learn is the pythagorean theorem in last class itself i have given the introduction the pythagorean theorem so what is pythagorean theorem or simply pythagoras theorem okay name after the ancient greek mathematician pythagoras he lived bc 572 495 okay is one of the most famous and celebrated theorems in mathematics so this pythagoras theorem is very important and famous theorem in mathematics so the proofs are very diverse which include both geometric and algebraic methods dating back to thousands of years okay these are used by the math- mathematicians and also to develop the uh, many theorems so now statement of the theorem so what is a simple statement of the theorem in a right angle triangle the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides so listen this carefully in right angle triangle this pythagoras theorem used in right angle triangle so the square of the hypotenuse so hypotenuse side square when we square this side this is equal to sum of the when we add this both side square means it should be equal okay that is only they have given here in triangle abc so they have given psi abc bc square that is hypotenuse side square bc square is equal to ab square plus ac square that was given here understand so now visual illustration so in visual illustration you can see the given figure contains a triangle of sides of measures okay so sides of measures they have given now three units four units and five units here we have how many units three here 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 units so by using this we can draw a right angle triangle understand so here now it is easily seen that the square formed with side 5 units is hypotenuse okay this side is what hypotenuse side 5 units and 5 into 5 equal 25 units small squares and the squares formed with side 3 units so this is what 3 units and 4 units so 3 and 4 units means when you multiply 3 3 is a 9 4 4 is a 16 understand when we add this both we will get what 25 so here this square 5 5 is a 25 plus 3 3 is a is equal to 3 this is a 9 plus 60 so 9 plus 16 25 so by using this by seeing this we can easily say that in pythagoras theorem bc square is equal to ab square plus ac square understand so now converse of pythagoras theorem so converse if in a triangle the square on the greater side is equal to the sum of square on the other two side the same explanation so square of the greater side which is greater here by seeing this you can say that this line is greater 61 is greater understand so 61 is greater square is equal to sum of the other two sides so so ab square plus ac square equal to 11 square plus 60 square when we square this we will get what 3721 so 3721 is equal to 61 square when we square square 61 we will get what 3721 it is converse of pythagoras theorem understand a simple theorem when we square the hypotenuse side is equal to sum of the square of other two side a simple formula so here find lm mn ln and also the area of triangle lo m understand so we 
find L M. So listen here. So what we should find L M, then L M N, then L N. Understand? So they have given L O M O and N O. Understand? So they have given this. things so now we will see we will solve this from triangle l m o by pythagoras theorem so l m o so this is triangle right angle triangle so in the, by using this pythagoras theorem we can find the m l or l m easy okay so we know that hypotenuse side hypotenuse side is greatest side so greatest line greatest side square is equal to sum of the other two sides so first lm square equal to ol square minus om square that is the formula because here what is the formula ol square is equal to ml square plus om square is the formula so we need only lm square so we can bring this om square plus om to the right hand side it will become what minus om square so lm square is equal to ol square minus om square so lm square is equal to ol is what 13 so 13 square minus this one is 12 12 square that means 169 minus 144 is equal to when we subtract we will get what 25 so when we take square root for 25 we'll get 5 is the answer okay so lm square equal to 5 square we can cancel this square lm equal to 5 units so by from triangle nmo by pythagoras theorem so mn square now we need to find what mn square so hypotenuse side is what n o or o n square so o n square om square so om square minus om square the same method 15 square minus 12 square is equal to 225 minus 144 is equal to 81 when we take square root for 81 we'll get what 9 so m n equal to 9 units so lm is what 5 units here 9 units understand when we add this both we'll get l n understand and also they has to find the area of the lo n so lo n so for whole triangle we need to find the area so what is the formula to find the area area of a triangle is half into base into height so half into what is base here base is full base l plus m so base into height means ln into o m understand So L n is what 14. O m is 12. So 1 by 2 into 14 into 12. When I cancel this, here seven times. Seven twelves are 84. 84 square unit is the answer. Understand? So by using this Pythagoras theorem, we can solve the right angle based formulas sums. Now we will see some important topics headings. Okay? So these are the basic things. listen carefully point of concurrency already we have solved in the practical geometry so what is point of concurrency when two lines in a plane cross each other they are called intersecting lines okay when we cross when the lines are crossing that is what intersecting lines are intersecting so a horizontal line is intersecting with the vertical line understand now here line 1 and line 2 intersect at point o okay so here intersecting at the point o three or more lines in a plane are said to be concurrent if all of them pass through the same point so listen this word carefully concurrent okay some these are the basic things you need to memorize or you need to learn okay so next year they will not explain the basic things directly they will solve the sums so you will suffer for that you have to uh, know the names of the geometrical parts so here concurrent means more line passing through a single point so here you can see three lines are passing through 
O. Okay, so this is what point of concurrency. Okay, this point is what point of concurrency. O is the point of concurrency. You can see the many examples. Then median of a triangle. So median means what? We know that center. Okay, a median of a triangle is a line segment from a vertex to the midpoint of the side opposite that vertex. Understand? So vertex means what? The corner. Okay, so the, from the corner to the point, it will join. In the figure, AM line segment is a median of triangle ABC. Triangle A, B, C. Then, or there any more medians. So here what? AM is the median. So this is the line which cuts the triangle. That is median, the center line. Understand? Then centroid. Centroid, the point of concurrency of three medians in your triangle is called it centroid. Okay, so point of concurrence of the three median. So three median means the line with from, starts from vertex to the opposite. So here you can see from vertex to the opposite. Here from vertex to the opposite. So these are the lines. You can see here. So from B to AC. So these are the lines are called medians of a triangle. So here in centroid, the medians in a triangle is called its centroid. How many medians? Three medians. Understand? In centroid, a letter G should be denoted. So denoted by the letter G. Capital letter G means its centroid. Then properties of the centroid of a triangle. So what are the profit properties? It is always located inside the triangle. So centroid should be in inside the triangle. We have already seen that it serves as the center of gravity for any triangular lamina. So this is center of a triangle. Okay. The centroid is center of a triangle. Then Observe the figure, the line drawn from each vertex to G from the three triangles A, B, C. Okay, it will form the triangle. For example, from A to B, C, B to A, C, C to A, B. From vertex to the center of a opposite line. So, this is called what? Centroid. These are the properties of the centroid of a triangle. Then, altitude of a triangle. So, altitude. What is altitude? Altitude of a triangle also known as the height of the triangle. Okay, this is called altitude. So, these are the words you should learn properly. So, you will understand. Altitude of a triangle also known as the height of the triangle. So this blue color line is there. No? This is the height of the triangle. To opposite side, the altitude. Here, the altitude makes a right angle with the base of a triangle. Okay. So, it also forms a median altitude. The three altitude of any triangle are concurrent. Understand? So, the three angle of a, any triangle are concurrent. So, concurrent means a line which passing through the, many line passing through the single point. So, perpendicular bisector. What is perpendicular bisector? Already we used in the practical geometry. So let us first recall the following ideas. Perpendicular AB is a line segment. L is perpendicular to AB. So this is perpendicular line. Okay. Then uh, PQ is a line segment. Bisector to PQ. M is the midpoint of PQ. So it is also bisecting. Here the line bisect. M is the midpoint. Perpendicular bisector. Understand. So perpendicular means a 90 degree line. Then bisector means cuts the line. Then perpendicular bisector means it should cut equal parts into 90 degree. Understand? So this is perpendicular bisector. A simple word means perpendicular bisector means it cuts the line into two equal parts. Understand? It should be 90 degree. Understand? Now circumcenter. So, what is circumcenter? The point of concurrence of the three perpendicular bisector of a triangle is called its circumcenter. Understand? The point of concurrence. Concurrence means what? 
a point a line many line passing through a single point that is what concurrent concurrency okay so here the point of concurrence of the three perpendicular bisector of a triangle is called a circumcenter circumcenter means we need to find a perpendicular bisector for three side for bc means we have to cut the bc into equal parts then ab then bc so this joining point is called the circumcenter understand now angle bisector of a triangle angle bisector means perpendicular bisector cuts the line into two equal parts angle bisector means cuts the angle into two equal parts understand it cuts the angle into two for example this part is what 80 degree means it should cut 40 plus 40 understand that is called angle bisector of a triangle then in center in center the point of concurrence of the three angle bisectors of a triangle is called its in center so when we use the perpendicular bisector mean that is circumcenter when we use angle bisector it will it forms in center okay so the circle will come inside the triangle so this we will use in the practical geometry now we will solve the sum okay the third question first and second or the one word question you go through the question and answer for it now third question check whether given sides are the sides of right angle triangle so right angle triangle means what is the procedure triangle means when we right angle triangle when we add the greatest sine square greatest value or numbers square is equal to sum of the square of other two sides that is pythagoras theorem so here also we going to the same pythagoras theorem take a equal to 8 15 then c equal to 17 so a square plus b square is equal to what 8 square plus 15 square okay so 8 square plus 15 square this is not 82 and 152 this is 8 square plus 15 square 8 8s are 64 15 15 is 225 the answer is 289 the biggest number is what 17 then 17 square so 17 square is equal to 289 therefore this is an right angle triangle understand so by using pythagoras theorem we have to square the biggest number then we need to add the square of the other two numbers understand if we see the second question which is biggest number 15 so 15 square is equal to 12 square plus 13 square so 15 square is 225 12 square is 144 13 square is 169 when we add this both we will get what 313 so 313 is not equal to 225 so it's not a right angle triangle understand by using the number itself we can say whether this triangle is right angle or we can form a triangle by using the given measures understand so we have to do the remaining sums a simple using this simple formula now the fourth sum listen here find the unknown sides in the following triangles so in following triangle they have given two sides ab is 40 ac is 9 so bc we don't know the value so how to find we know that bc is the hypotenuse the biggest line so bc square equal to ab square plus ac square understand so bc square is equal to ab square plus ac square so ab square plus ac square what is ab ab square or ab is 40 square then ac is 9 square so 40 square plus 9 square uh, 1600 plus 81 we will get 1681 so bc square equal to 1681 when we take square root for 1681 we will get 41 square so x is equal to 41 understand we should not write 1681 because bc square value is 1861 so we need to take square root so bc is equal to 41 therefore what is bc x so x is equal to 
41. Understand? So now, from triangle PQR by Pythagoras theorem, listen here, PR square equal to PQ square plus QR square. Understand? So, PR square is what? 34 square is equal to PQ, we don't know, Y. Y square plus 30 square. So, Y square is equal to 34 square minus 30 square. This plus 30 will become as minus 30. Okay. So, minus 30 square. 1156 minus 900 will get 256. When we take square root for 256, we will get 16. Understand? So, Y square equal to 16 square. Y equal to 16. Answer is what? 16. Understand? Like that, you need to do this sum. The first sum. So, rest of the sums we will see in the next video. So, you go through the videos and read the introduction part and also the uh, circumcenter, concurrency, incenter, median, altitude. These are the things you are learning in this year. So, uh, this is very important points we have to remember. So, you go through. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Understand? So, do the sums. Do up to fourth sums in your class. Thank you students. Have a good day.